everyone, Ellie here, welcome back to my channel. I apologize for the lack of videos. My life has just been extremely busy right now. Um, a lot happening, I'm studying for a major test. Um, I won't really go into too much detail, but just know that I'm genuinely really busy and a lot of days when I come home after work, I really just wanna play my Xbox and not talk to anybody, so. <laughs> I really wanted to go over the Morgans because there's a lot of controversy going on around them right now. Um, a lot of people think the models look like aliens, and so I wanted to give my full authentic opinion since I haven't looked at them yet. Let's do it. Here's the Morgans. Okay, they're the Gen 3. Um, let's briefly go over the coats. So, I don't hate this one. I think it's nice. I'm n I haven't ever really been a huge fan of, like, this contrast of, like, having a dark base and then a light mane and tail. But honestly, I don't hate this one. But, I mean, I've never been a super big fan of that coat in general. That we have a Cremello. I'm not a huge fan of these coats. I also heard that, like, the coats for these horses aren't actually genuine to the breed in real life. So, there's a lot of frustration around these horses not being, like, authentic and, like, genuine to their actual in real life breed. And people are frustrated that... You know why put coats that they could never genetically get which like I totally understand you know if you're gonna bring it in real life breeds into a game like you should try to make it as accurate as possible especially if you're trying to get the model and gates accurate you might as well do the coats I'm not a big fan of this one I understand what they're doing but like why the contrast is just dumb in my opinion I don't I don't think it's cute I think it's really basic it looks like they rushed these coats, I'm not going to lie. Like, what is so special about these so far? I mean, this one's probably the most special out of, like, these two so far. Okay, a basic bay. This one's pretty, but, like, the shine on the coats looks really rushed. It just looks like they squiggled, and they were like, That's good! Alright, move on. <laughs> this feels like a Gotland Pony. What is this? This is also a Gotland Pony coat. These feel like Gotland Pony coats. I don't like it. I really don't like it. They're not even that cute. Like, they're soup. like, what? Especially this one. I feel like this one's just, like, I really don't like this one. I don't think it's that cute. You never see horses with this coat. Like, this coat is not very common at all, just in general. Ew, the face is gross. I really don't like it. I really just don't like how white it is. It looks scary. Like, the pink around the eye, it, ugh, it's giving, it's giving alien. Look at the front of the horse. What is happening? The eyes are super bugged out. I don't like it. The more I look at it, the more I'm scared. I understand what they were going with this one, but like the mane and tail just aren't working with the other coats. Like it just doesn't match very well in my opinion. I think it looks really off. So the best coat is the bay, <laughs> in my opinion. The best coat is the bay by far. And there's just, oh, there's a white marking. Here's the basic braids. They braid the tail, okay. But look at that front! It looks like an alien, bro! What is that? No! It's just the same basic new mains that they bring to every horse. I hate these braids. Get them out. Okay, bigger roach. That's not bad. I kind of like the bigger roach option. Kind of makes him look like a mule, though. Oh, yeah, it's even scarier from the front. We're not doing that. And then the pulled mane, which is fine. But I, like I said in my pre one of my previous videos, I wish they would also crop the, the tail. Like, if you're gonna pull the mane, like, cut the tail to make it look nice. A lot of people were also saying, like, the size of them are not authentic to the in real life Morgans. Like, they're, they're a little too small. Okay, I'm not against the walk. It's giving Arabian with the tail. <laughs> Here's the trot. I feel like the shoulder moves more, so I'm happy with that. I feel like a lot of these animations with these horses, the shoulder does not move. It's so stiff. Um, and I know when these first were released for, like, a teaser in Star Stables, like, Instagram, people were absolutely shredding them apart. It was really entertaining to look in the comments. The, the head is extremely stiff. I'd say the body, like, the fluidity of, I don't even know if that's a word, of the body isn't that bad. I'm really glad to see that shoulder actually moving, because most of the time in these animations, it's the stiffest thing in the world. Here's, oh, well, now it is. Gee whiz. What is happening? 
And that's the leading leg, too. This is the leading leg. <laughs> oh my god. He's on the left lead, and that shoulder isn't even moving as much. Oh, uh, uh, they're both, like, moving the same. No, this ain't, this ain't it. What is the hind end doing? It is so stiff. I don't know, but... Oh my god, it's so stiff. Okay, the gallop. So stiff! What is happening to the front end of the horse? It's on its forehand. I so much. Look at this. All the weight is up here. You can just frickin' tell. There's like no weight in the in the hind end. It's all in the front. Those uh, those shoulders again are not moving as much as they should. They're so stiff. It looks so restricted. This is uh, this frustrates me so much. It would look so much better if this front end like was more fluid and actually like pushed off the ground and moved that shoulder forward. Okay. Now they're finally moving the shoulder forward. They kind of have no choice with the fast gallop. Thank God. I'm okay with this one. The legs look a little funky. Do you see what I mean? Like, it kind of, like, bends inward. There's something. There's something happening. I don't know if it's just, like, because the legs are next to each other. But, like, do you see that swoop that's happening? It's, like, curving inward. Like, follow my mouse. Like, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if that's just me. Um, okay. Cool. 850 star coins for crap coats. <laughs> An alien looking model. <laughs> and gates that are like mid. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna definitely take my time on purchasing those. I also just don't have the money right now. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so those are my thoughts on the Morgans. I I don't hate them, but I can totally see where people were like getting their from. They're mid. <laughs> They're not anything super special. Honestly, I think it should be like 750 or at least 800. You know, like chop that number down. It doesn't. That horse does not need to be that expensive. There's really nothing special about it at all. I don't care that it's Gen 3. Chop that price down. It's not worth it for the price. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely think I'm gonna check out a different horse breed before I purchase the Morgans. I think I'm behind on a few breeds. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!